In this video, we will focus on adding shapes to the scene in 3JS. And this is part of the 3JS tutorial. And what we're going to do here, if we scroll down here right now, what we have is we have those two cubes. We add it up here. And what I would like to do is, well, this is not really a cube. It's more like a, uh, basically a um, flat square. Let's remove that one for now. And what I want to do here now is just to add a different shape. There are multiple shapes that we can add. And here's the good thing of it. If you go here, for example, here, you can see here in geometries, you can see this part here, there are so many different options. And what I want to do right now is I want to focus only on adding a circle here. So if you have the circle geometry, basically it does the same thing because there's a difference. You have the box, and in the box, you work with the triple index, uh, one, two, and three. And what we also have is we can, for example, adjust it by adding something else like a 2d element because this right now is a 3d element so let's add up a circle you can see your example and for now i will just add it up here down below so what we're going to do here is the following we're going to say a new constant and this constant will be called geometry 2 geometry number two equal new and then we say here 3 with capital make sure it's all capitalized and we say here not box but we say circle geometry just like this you can see your circle geometry it's same and then you can see your two digits not three so why two digits now remember this is the x y and z and z is for the depth and now if it's a flat circle 2d there is no depth right so there's only x and y so we say here x would be let's say five and comma and then let's make this 20. i'm not sure how big it will look like we will see how it responds all right, once we have this, we can now remember, uh, basically, we're going, to, we're going to add now the material. And the reason why this is important is, remember, a mesh consists of two items. It consists of the shape and the material. All right, same here. So we say here, constant, and then we say material, number two equals, and then we say here, new, and then we say here, tree, dot, and then we say here, mesh, basic material which is exactly the same as a ball and here we can say another color all right so let's make this for now i'll just make it a well black would be not a good color but we could make this uh i'll just give it a simple color let's say purple very straightforward easy to spot and it's very different compared to the blue color we have semicolon here now enter here and then you say const and then we say here instead of cube i'll just define it as a circle equals new tree dot mesh and the mesh consists of two items geometry number two remember not not number one because if not we will get this part here and then what we will say here as well is comma material and material will be number two as well grabbing this one and then finally we can say here you want to add this in the, to the container. So basically the scene is a container. So you just say add to the container or add to the element, etc., etc. Add here, circle. All right. Once we did this, save this, go back here, refresh. And now, as you can see, we have this, I guess, massive circle. That's not what I desired. I want it very small. So let's make it five, refresh. And that is also quite things. What we could do is we can zoom out a bit more. There you are. All right. So as you can see here, now you say, wait a minute, this is not a circle. This is a, a different shape, it's, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's not a hexagon, uh, but it's not what we want. And the reason why this is, is basically here, these are the dimensions. So every time we add up here more, we can define how many angles there are, or basically spokes. So you can see like a wheel. Yes, uh, a wheel has a circle and then it has been tied up with spokes, basically the lines here. The more spokes it has, the more round basically the wheel is supposed to be here in this case. So we can increase it by 10. Let me save and refresh. Oh, and you can see here, I realize that this is the 10 would be here. This one, but let's make this here back. Refresh, there you are. So this one defines the size, or basically this, this one defines the size, this is defining the uh, spokes or the, the edges here the more edges you have or the more corners the more wrong it becomes 
If you put it on 20, you will have a nice one. And this is why this was very high on 32. Refresh, now you can see here, and if you can put this on, let's say, 50, you get basically a very, very neat circle. And the higher you go, the more spokes there are, and the more circular it becomes, or the more rounded it becomes. And this is basically what you can do. We can reduce this as well. Uh, let's see here, let's make this on trees here. If you can minimize the circle, it actually minimize this circle, of course, this is the reason why just yes, this we were so zoomed in. We were positioned here on five. That makes sense, right? So if you're on five and this is on three, it means there's like only two uh, values of I'll, I'll, I'll just call it cubical pixels, two cubical pixels away from the object, which is which makes this object far too big. So if I make this on one, it will be equal to the circle, and this is already apparently bigger than the circle, bigger than the cube, equal to the cube size. Although the circle is larger compared to the cube. However, this is the way how you add one of these very simple elements in there and play around with it. If you want to zoom in or zoom out, this apparently works on this, and make sure that this here, your camera position, is matched accordingly 